why you can't use AI? You so we can, actually. Um, I was involved for a number of years with numeric simulations like you're describing, where you use a computer to try and solve the equations that you, you can't otherwise. And historically, in order to do those computations, we had to put them on supercomputer clusters and like wait for months to get results. And now you just do it on your iPhone. <laughs> now we can actually do it on a laptop. Um, so we've started using machine learning algorithms to numerically solve some of these differential equations. So this is different than having AI generate a new photo, but you can still use the framework of these neural networks to try and solve really complicated equations. Found that using these techniques, we can speed up a lot of computations in a really substantive way. And this actually made it possible just recently for groups to compute quark masses in string theory for the first time. These are not the quark mass values that we actually observe in nature. Um, that would be awesome, but we don't see that yet. But we can say, if you just hand me some extra dimensions, whatever they may be, and then say, what would the, you know, the quarks look like in that universe? Now we can actually come up with those numbers.